Good morning, everybody. My name is Chef Dave. I want to give a big shout out to all our doctors and nurses that are on the front lines dealing with our uh, pandemic. And also, I want to tell everybody to be safe out there and uh, God bless. Okay. For today, I'm going to start out with a um, recipe that you can make at home. It's very simple. It's called a cinnamon cream cheese roll up. The very first thing that you want to do is wash your hands. We want to make sure we wash in our hands. I have gloves on because I work in the restaurant industry, so I always wear my gloves, okay? First of all, I'm going to tell you what ingredients you need. You need sugar, cinnamon, butter, cream cheese, okay? The equipment that you need is just a blender or a mixer, okay? You will also need white bread, okay? You can use wheat, white, or any other type of white bread. I like using the King's Hawaiian sliced bread because it has a sweeter taste. For what we are going to make, it, it makes a really nice bread, okay? First thing you want to do is you want to take and you want to cut the crust off, okay? We're going to take all the crust off of your bread. The other piece of equipment that you need is a roller. What you're going to do is you're going to roll your bread flat, flatter than even a pancake, okay? Like if you're making uh, pizza dough, you want to make sure that the bread is really flat. Once you get your bread flat, you're going to want to, in a separate bowl, you want to take three quarters of your sugar, three quarters of a cup, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And you want to mix that in your bowl, okay? And you want to keep that separate, okay? Take a half cup of butter, and what I do is I microwave it. You can do whatever you want, but microwave seems to be the easiest. You don't have to use the pot and stove, okay? And you're going to melt that. After you get your butter, you get your cream cheese and your confectionery sugar. That's one of the other ingredients that I forgot to tell you about, okay, is confectionery sugar, okay. You want two-third cups of cream cheese and a half a cup of confectionery sugar. You're going to put it in a bowl and you're going to mix it with your mixer, just like this, okay. Once you mix it, You'll take it, you'll spread it on your bread. It doesn't have to be real thick because the thicker it is, the bigger your roll is and it might not stay together. So you want to put it on like maybe peanut butter or, or if you're buttering a piece of toast, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and roll it just like so. Okay, now you're going to take your butter and your sugar mixture and you're going to take your roll and you're just going to roll your roll, cinnamon roll, in the butter. If you dip it, you're going to get it too soggy and it won't cook right. Then you're going to take it to your sugar mixture and your cinnamon and you're going to coat it. What you want to do is just lightly coat it like so. Everybody can see that? Okay. Place it on an ungreased cookie sheet, like so. Okay. Then you're going to put it in an oven, a 350 oven, for 16 to 18 minutes. Okay, 16 to 18 minutes. After that 16 to 18 minutes, you will have your cinnamon cream cheese roll-ups, just like that. Now, what I, would, what I do, if you want to make them really exciting and really good because they're fantastic the way they are, I have a little bit of apple topping or apple filling that you can buy in a store in a can 
It's used for um, pie filling, okay? And you can put a little bit of this right on top like this. These are great for a snack, or you can have them for breakfast as well. And there we go. Nice and easy. Very, very easy. You probably got most of these ingredients in your house. If you don't, I'm sure the next run that you make to the grocery store, you can grab these ingredients. And um, hopefully everybody can uh, make them at home. And have a great day, you guys. Thank you very much.